math learners. Today we're going to support an answer with mathematical reasoning. But first, I want to remind everybody that mistakes help us learn. And the reason I want to remind you of that is that I made a mistake in the video yesterday. I didn't check carefully and I had accidentally used a number from a fourth grade problem. So one of the answers I told you in the video yesterday wasn't correct. And some of you pointed that out to me, so thank you. I learned that I need to check my slides before I make a video. So yesterday I had said we need to buy 196 feet of carpet. Really, we need to buy 252 feet of carpet. Now, if you already did the work with that wrong answer, it's okay. Don't worry about it because I'm, I can see that you all still did the multiplication correctly. And most of you had an answer that looks something like this. You showed me your equation, you did your multiplication, and you explained your work. So yesterday overall, great job. Today, I want to teach you that when you answer a math question, we give mathematical reasons. So for example, if we're looking at buying bananas at Safeway versus Costco, a mathematical reason is it will be $17 cheaper to buy from Safeway than Costco. This is not a mathematical reason. So this is a no. The bananas at Safeway taste better than the ones at Costco. Now that might be true, but we're not answering the question with math. So today we're going to answer another question. And just like we learned yesterday, we have to use the information from question one and question two in order to answer question three. So our question three is which store should Mr. Eaton buy his new carpet at? And why? Because remember in the problem, Mr. Eaton is trying to find the best buy for our school. So this is a sentence you could use. You could say, he should buy his carpet at mm because mm. And don't forget, you need to give a mathematical reason. Y quería añadir una nota para las personas que todavía están aprendiendo inglés. Si tú no entiendes bien la pregunta, avísame y pregúntame antes de comenzar a trabajar. Porque ayer dos personas hicieron mucha buena matemática, pero no se trató de la pregunta correcta. Lo habían entendido mal. Entonces, si algo no queda claro, pregunta simplemente. So, again, the question for today, number three. Which store should Mr. Eaton buy his new carpet at and why? Ready? Let's go.